Hi, I'm Terry with Prepped and Polished in South Natick, Massachusetts. Bodie Miller says, I don't master the mountain, I master speed. Bodie Miller is the most decorated American skier in Olympic history with five medals, including gold. In fact, he's going to lead the Alpine ski team at the Winter Olympics later this week. Today, I'm going to help you master your pacing and speed so you can write an effective essay in 25 minutes for the SAT. So go for the gold. Let's aim for a score of six on your essay. Let's look at a typical essay question. A typical SAT question might be something like, is deception ever justified? And you'd be expected to respond with examples from your reading, studies, personal observations, and experiences. Every SAT essay has a question with an excerpt before it. This particular question had an excerpt from a book called The Truth About Lying, and it talked about two sides of the coin, deception and honesty. One of the biggest time savers on your SAT essay is to be prepared. Students always ask me, how can I prepare for the SAT essay? Well, you can. You can come prepared armed with details about historical facts, current events, your favorite literature, meaningful person ex personal examples and observations. And you just might be able to use this information on any SAT question that you encounter. The next huge time saver is pacing. We're going to divide 25 minutes into manageable parts or minutes. Bodie Miller says, I'm prepared to ski well in all the events I'm in. It's just a matter of execution. Well, let's work on your execution so you're prepared to write a high scoring essay. So minutes one through four is basically the pre-writing stage. And none of these minutes are written in stone. You know, if you take a little shorter on one, can add a little time to the other. So minute one is to read and analyze the assignment question and decide what it's asking you to do. Is it asking you to take a stand? Is it asking for reasons, for an opinion? Is it asking you to argue for or against something? And pay attention to key words that might trigger a reaction. Minute two is to brainstorm examples. Call forth a wealth of ideas and feelings that you might have. Jot them down. Maybe a pattern will emerge. You know, students who got a high score on the assignment question above, they brainstormed and they used examples such as The Great Gatsby, Holden Caulfield in Catcher in the Rye, The Confederate Army, The Enron Scandal, Watergate, Cheating on Tests, Telling White Lies, Macbeth, Even the Boy Who Cried Wolf. Minute three is Take a Stand. This will be your thesis statement. This is your position. Minute four is to write a brief outline. I can't stress how important uh, this step is. Most students feel that this will actually waste time, but trust me, it's the most important step. True story. I gave a student a practice writing prompt. Is it necessary to understand others in order to understand ourselves? The minute I started timing her, she grabbed her pen and wrote furiously for the time allotted. When I scored her essay, it was basically a, a mini biography of Teddy Roosevelt. Now, I'm sure she had some idea when she started writing where she was going with it, but because she did not use any of the pre-writing or time-saving strategies, it lacked a thesis and a conclusion. On the actual test, she probably would have gotten a score of zero because she never answered the question. So trust me, the outline's a time saver. So the outline is really just for you. So, and it's also going to be very brief, but it establishes a structure and it shows whether you have enough information to support the examples you might want to write about. Let's look at a quick format. So first you'll have your intro, and this is just a phrase or two, how you plan to respond to the question. And that's going to be your thesis. And you might want to jot down two or three supporting examples you can use, which will become your body paragraphs. Each body paragraph should only have one example that supports the thesis statement. So body paragraph one is going to be your first example from history, current events, etc., personal observations, whatever you decide, with a few notes uh, how example one supports your thesis. 
Body paragraph two and three are exactly the same, each with their own example. Body paragraph three is optional if you don't have enough time. You know, you may not want a third body paragraph. And in your conclusion, you're just going to jot down a phrase you might want to use that ties everything together. Um, you might want to consider a broader implication or larger context, context for your argument. This should only take a minute, so it's just jotting down some notes. So minutes 5 to 17, use your outline and write. And write as legibly as you can and fill as many lines as you can. The length of the essay does matter. It should be a page and a half to two pages. Minute 18 is really important. That's a checkpoint. I call it a reality check. You should really see where you're at in the process. If, for example, you're only on body paragraph number one, scratch the idea of writing a third body paragraph and try to work up your pace a little bit because you definitely want to have a conclusion and you want to be able to proofread. Minutes 19 through 22, you're going to finish the supporting paragraph you're on and your conclusion. Minute 23 to 24, you're going to proofread, first for stylistic issues like the logic of the essay, the flow. You can vary the length of sentences, add transition words, and, and check if paragraphs are indented. It's not a revision, you're just looking for these errors, if any of them are glaring. And then the last minute, you're going to reword. Um, use synonyms to replace words that you've used over and over. Check your vocabulary, and you might want to change a couple words to be more academically advanced, more college level, like maybe instead of laziness, indolence, or detrimental instead of not good. You also want to check grammar issues that are found on the SAT, common ones like subject-verb agreement, ambiguous pronouns, verb tenses, parallel structure. So that's the, the last minute you want to take care of that business. Bodie Miller says that he gets an absolutely amazing feeling when he magically skis his absolute best. And that happens when he feels motivated and inspired. Strive to do your best on the SAT essay, just like Bodie Miller. Here's some gold medal advice. Practice makes perfect. Practice writing 25-minute SAT essays at home and you'll not only improve your pacing, you'll improve your essay score and your writing score as a whole. So good luck, and let's hope that Bodhi wins some gold.